Dr. Sushirita De, Associate Professor. Hello, ma'am. Yes, hi, Ruby. I'm fine, ma'am. How are you doing? I'm yes. sure you have become a very successful lady okay. in this institution, okay. serving the society with your knowledge and with your humble gesture to all your dear students Thank you who so have much come over here to Bivurua College okay, to know so many things about computer mm -hmm. science. Ma'am, आपने बहुत ही तारीफ कर दिया थैंक यू सो मच इसके लिए बाई डे मैम यू आर ए रेस्पेक्टेड मैम और आप मतलब बहुत ही मतलब आपका वीडियो भी बहुत ही मतलब पब्लिसिट हुई है और बहुत ही इंटेलिजेंट बहुत ही नाइसली तरीके से आप एक्सप्लेन करते हो तो प्लीज काइंडली आज जो हम लोग का अप्रोसेंट लिया है एम एन के ऊपर थोड़ी एक्सप्लेन कीजिए एक्चुअली रूबी यू नो लाइक इंडियन फिलोसफी ओके मैम in order to explain mm -hmm. in a very natural mm -hmm. we need variety of approaches mm -hmm. we all know that uh, to know about indian philosophy there are nine systems and uh, from the samhita we start the indian philosophy with aranyakas followed on and then with upanishads mm -hmm. but very interestingly often we have not taken into consideration very deeply the components of humanism mm. that we find in ramayana as an epic yes. or as an itihas yes history or history of hindu culture yes. his history of hinduism mm. so today you know while uh, pondering on few points on ramayana Mm. especially on the ideal of perfect life mm. how balmiki has exposed in mm. the epic mm. according to me mm. the essence of the ideal of perfect life is humanism mm. yes there are so many uh, like uh, the characters we find mm. depicting so many of in variety human nature human faculties anushilan development mm. including liberation and all mm. but in today's talk mm. i will deeply try to observe or try to share my understanding on the ideal of perfect life that is depicted in ramayana according to balmiki yes at the backdrop of humanism yes and you know ruby i did one minor project on ramayana yes with special reference to madhav kandali mm -hmm. there also i have depicted humanism mm -hmm. as uh, i have understood in valmiki's ramayana specially mm -hmm. of course i didn't left left out uh, like uh, ramayana of tulsidas and so many other scholars they made their interpretations of mm -hmm. on ramayana mm -hmm. so let me start yes with it. yes yes like valmiki's ramayana mm -hmm. is an epic poem mm -hmm. of india mm -hmm. which narrates the journey of virtue mm -hmm. to annihilate vice mm -hmm. this is the most mm -hmm. paradigm mm -hmm. that we have to take in consideration what is the paradigm that i have taken into consideration in this historical background of valmiki's ramayana mm. that it is the journey of virtue mm -hmm. and in this journey of virtue we have to annihilate vice mm. of course virtue stands for rama the great the hero mm. of virtue mm. and uh, Ram, rama mm -hmm. who is the hero Hmm. of the epic poem hmm. and ayan actually reflects his journey hmm. of virtue it is believed that rama lived in the treta yuga hmm. but here we find an issue which can be questioned like whether the story of the ramayana has really happened or it is a creation of imagination this is 
a question which is asked by many critics by the narrators by the scholars who is doing research work on balmiki's ramayana but let us not take this point into a very vulnerable problem but let us proceed further and find out what actually valmiki's ramayana speaks on humanism so let me start as such that the story is actually unusually structured which has its original content point with remarkable characters and events and that is more likely constitute the important elements of ram valmiki's ramayana which finally depicts the history the itihasa of bharat which is today's world known as india the oldest and the most complete version of the ramayana is by sage valmiki legend has it that god brahma himself had ordained that valmiki should write the ramayana and the gist of the story was narrated to valmiki by sage narada this is the mythological standpoint that we are familiar do we you know in valmiki's ramayana actually sita represents a character of women empowerment mm. in today's world we are in cat race to go hand in hand in competition with the male film but in traditional language women empowerment talks about the inner values the inner strength that a female beholds science by this time has already established that the sixth sense organ is so powerful in women nature and do we find different characters where we find sita to be a bit in a less rationalized uh, pen pictured by many of the writers but for me sita also represents everything that is holy pure good and beautiful all sufferings she experienced is only of being ever faithful and ever pure in spite of the terrible injustice of her being exiled to the forest there is not one harsh word against ramchandra she takes it as her own duty and performs her own part in it this ideal character of sita symbolizes the innate virtues of the human soul that often becomes a playmate of temptation the temptation becomes the fundamental fact in shaping human crises and thus the destiny of human life hence the transience of life which makes human life sorrow begetting actually makes the individual soul more purified and strong in knowing the external nature of the soul so the poet highlight here in the epic that we destroy evil by suffering this is the essence of the idea of perfect life as profounded in the ramayana not only this the weakness that we find in the characters like ravana kaikeyi and ultimately in mantara actually seeks to typify the great mystery of the struggles ever going on between the forces of good and evil 
thank you okay. with all the observations that I have shared on the ideal of perfect life at the backdrop of humanity. Thank you so much, ma'am. Very nice. Thank you.